from the earliest times, Christian scribes, um, and by that I mean people that copied New Testament manuscripts or wrote about Christ very early on in the Greek language, uh, loved to abbreviate Christ's uh, name, uh, his title, Christ, uh, with an X. If you see here, here's the Greek word for Christ, Christos, and uh, you see that first letter there is uh, a chi or a... Um, an X. And uh, when the scribes were translating, not translating, but copying rather, uh, one Greek manuscript to another, they loved these, uh, what they called nomina sacras. Uh, the, uh, they were um, abbreviations of the sacred name. And uh, depending on the case ending on the noun, they uh, would put another letter next to it. But uh, usually, and if it sometimes would stand alone, just chi. Uh, would stand alone, and that was representative of Christ. So, um, most, in, by the way, if you want proof of that, you can look in books like this that have the texts of the earliest Greek manuscripts. Here's 107 of the earliest manuscripts, and it's uh, replete full of um, nomina sacras, which are abbreviations of Christ's name with a chi. Uh, so, it's very common. Um, I know from the time I was in Bible school in the early days, that's we always abbreviated Christ with a chi and uh, uh, Christmas. I remember my earliest notes preaching about Christmas always put uh, chi M-A-S, chi M-A-S. So um, while some see it as a Xing out of Christ, it's certainly not how it was intended. And those who wrote it initially in Christian um, shorthand, if you will, uh, would use it. And I don't mean in the early manuscripts, but today when people talk about uh, Christmas, uh, my professors writing it on the board that way, it's just the way we talked about uh, Christmas in uh, an abbreviated format. So, uh, Chi stands for Christ. It's uh, the Greek letter that begins the name Christos, and uh, it's not it's not of pagan or atheist uh, derivation. It doesn't come from atheists trying to ex Christ out of Christmas. So, uh, you can use that abbreviation uh, without guilt if you'd like to.